Hello Valorians, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any new videos. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram so we can be friends and we can talk about Miraculous, which is actually what this video is about. Now, I wanna dive more about Emily's comatose state as well as Natalie's heart in this situation. I feel like, in a way, at first, I really thought maybe Natalie has feelings towards Gabriel Agress, and I was kind of shook by that, but if I really think about it, with the amount of years they've been together, I feel like Natalie knows that Gabriel will always love Emily, only Emily, and I feel like Natalie sees Gabriel as her close friend, and I feel like things are platonic, and I feel like she's hurting that she just doesn't want Gabriel to pursue something and continue to hurt and she wants him to heal and I don't think there's anything romantic towards that and I feel like maybe Emily and Natalie were friends at one point and I just feel like it's a mystery that we will have to dive in during season three and I feel like Mayura is going to appear in season two, the last bit of season two, so it can go into season three, which makes sense. But I feel like this is a theory. I'm not sure how Emily ended up in a comatose state. I don't know if she's dead or she's just in a coma, but if she's dead, I mean, she'll be frozen, won't you think? So I think that machine is for her to be asleep and she's in a coma i believe and i feel like the reason she's in a coma i believe ties in between the p file miraculous and the moth miraculous i feel like during the trip an accident happened something must have happened that made gabriel feel like it's his fault he has to do something to save her there's a lot of guilt in him and i feel like natalie knows what happened as well and that's why she's being respectful i just feel like with Natalie's heart, I feel like she's heartbroken that seeing her friend, not only her employer, but her family, her friend, hurt like that. I feel like she just hurts herself because I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like the Gretz family, both Natalie and the driver and Gabriel and Adrian, they're family. Whether they think so or not, I feel like they're a family in and of itself. And I feel like they care for each other so deeply. and. Every time we see Gabriel, he just looks at Emily's portrait and it just breaks my heart of how much he loves her so much. Like, yes, he may neglect his son, but he is mourning so much. It's like a love, it's like a pair of lovebirds in a way. And I feel like how Adrian handles the entire situation not knowing Emily that his own mom is inside the mansion below the basement and thinking that his mom just completely disappeared off of the face of the earth I just can't imagine being his age and dealing with it and he's just so gracious about it like at his age I would assume he'll be like flipping out and well I mean I guess he did flip out during the Christmas special but he he is just handling it like a trooper like, I feel like maybe it would have been better if he knew that his mom was in a coma, but then I feel like he would have joined forces with Hawk Moth and the story wouldn't be where it is today. And I feel like Tomas and his team did such an amazing job. But my theory is that something happened in Tibet with Emily and Gabriel that caused an accident that caused her to be in a coma and Natalie knows about it. Something has to be connected with Tibet and there has to be an accident. Remember, Master Fu said that he lost the two miraculouses during like a destruction with his temple and he was running away and he was the one who lost the pea fowl and the moth miraculous. So, but I, I bet Master Fu was from Tibet and that's where they went. And everything just fits so well that something happened in Tibet that we don't really know about but there has to be an accident that made emily fall into a coma and that the only way for her to wake up is with the powers of ladybug and the powers of cat noir so i'm really excited for season three comment below let me know what you guys think sound off below and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to subscribe and make courage be your links and i'll see you guys soon bye